Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be having a look at a new Porygon card. It's Porygon Z, ladies and gentlemen. Porygon was my very first ever favorite Pokemon. Right up till Gen 4 when Mamoswine appeared, Porygon was my favorite Pokemon. Porygon Z obviously evolves from Porygon, so I love him. And this new Porygon, ladies and gentlemen, this is a really good new Porygon Z. I know it's a stage two, all Porygon Zs are stage twos, but this one's got a redonkulous amount of potential. Now, the lovely Antoine Boulay did give us our translation here, but I checked it with the lovely David Hockman and the lovely ADVGYM also sent me this translation on Twitter. They all agree. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to the lovely chaps that have got my back this morning. I am delighted that you're all such lovely people. So, Porygon Z then. What does it do? Well, Porygon Z has got 130 HP, which frankly is very low for a stage 2 Pokemon. And it means that it is very much in range of Zoroark, which is not terribly ideal. It's got a weakness to fighting, which means it's weak to stuff like Buzzwole which is not terribly ideal. It has got a retreat cost here of two, which is not terribly ideal. And being a colorless Pokemon means you do not hit anything for weakness, nor do you get any extra tricks, which is not ideal. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, the basics of this card are not ideal, although the artwork is adorable. But it doesn't matter, because it's got one of the best abilities we've seen in a long time. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a special energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. That's ridiculous. That is actually redonkulously over-the-top brokenly good. It's like Blastoise, but instead of water energy, it's special energy. It's like Magnezone, but instead of either metal or lightning energy, it's special energy. And the difference here is extremely simple. Any Pokemon can take advantage of special energy, whereas Magnazone is really restricted to certain different Pokemon. That is what makes it so good. It's still a stage two at the end of the day. And the fact that it's a stage two is about the only thing stopping this from being one of the very best cards in the entire format. But Alolan Ninetales exists nowadays, which means that we can search out those rare candy more easily. And we've got Alolan Vulpix, which means we can search out the Pokemon far more easily. And the combination of Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales has made Stage 2 Pokemon far more techable than they've been in a very, very long time. I'm not saying this will see a huge amount of play. Because Magnezone hasn't. But I am telling you that Magnezone, I was like, oh, cool, we'll be good if we get any good metal Pokemon. And this I look at like, oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Because make no mistake about it, special energy do more than regular energy do. I mean, look, you've got the obvious double colorless energy here, which counts as two energy. So you can just attach them to some Pokemon that needs a huge amount of energy. I don't know, let's use Snorlax GX as an example. And that's quite nice. But don't forget, we literally about an hour ago looked at Triple Acceleration Energy, which can only be attached to an evolved Pokemon and only lasts for a single turn, but is free of any energy. Except now you can attach this, and it's not your attachment for the turn, it's one of many attachments you get for the turn. But let's not forget we've got Rainbow Energy here. Now you do have to take a damage counter when you attach Rainbow Energy, which is sad, etc. But now you can attach this, and all of a sudden... This is making any Pokemon good. Because here's the thing. This isn't just non-EX, non-GX Pokemon. This isn't just one specific typing. This is any Pokemon whatsoever can use Rainbow Energy. Yes, you've got to take the damage counter and that's a little bit sad, etc. But outside of that, it's just ridiculously good, ladies and gentlemen. Then, of course, we've got the different unit energies. There are three of them, and between the three of them, they will cover any type, and you don't have to accept a damage counter in order to play them, which means you can now play a couple of different types, and they're covered 
by the same unit energy. Or if you're playing stage twos, you've got super boost energy, which is four of any energy when attached to a stage two when you've got two other stage twos in play. But it's also just any energy when attached to a stage two. If you've only got one stage two in play, th this is still just an energy of any description and that's how we end up with such a ridiculously good card here because we can go playing around with any of these and now you can be attaching whatever you like you could play i mean let's say beast energy it's any energy when attached to an ultra beast and it lets you do 30 extra it's also a prism star so it's one per deck because it's too gosh darn good well now maybe you play boswell and you also play Nile Ego. And you might as well play the new Kartana. 130 for one energy is pretty good. If you've got four prizes remaining. And you can play Boswell GX as well while you're here. Because, you know, why would you not at this stage? And maybe you play Zerkatry GX. Because, you know, you, you might as well. And now you can play Unit Energy and Rainbow Energy and Beast Energy. And you can put them all down whenever you feel like it. You can get any of these Pokemon rolling whenever you darn well feel like it. Let's take a deck like Gardevoir, a Pokemon so interesting it's probably going to need a new video in the next few days to explain how it's quite so good nowadays. But the short version is it does 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. Which means you want to get as much energy as you can on the field. Now you've already got the ability, which lets you attach an extra fairy energy per turn. But now with Porygon Z, you can attach four double colorless in the same turn. And it means that you can also attach four triple acceleration energy in the same turn. And double colorless energy is an extra 60 damage. And triple acceleration energy is an extra 90 damage. As long as you attach it to an evolved Pokemon and accept the fact that it's going to be discarded after one turn. It's ridiculous. Gardevoir can go nuts with this. And the fact of the matter is that because of Lola Ninetales is a fairy Pokemon with a good GX attack, instant KO on an Ultra Beast, you're probably going to be playing at least a 1-1 one, one Alolan Ninetales line in Gardevoir anyway. We were playing Alolan Vulpix before this Alolan Ninetales came out in Gardevoir. So playing a 101 Porygon Z line is not difficult, and now Gardevoir's got a ridiculous advantage. And then, of course, we can start looking at all the other special energy that we've got in the format at the moment. Warp energy lets you switch with one of your benched Pokemon. So all of a sudden, you've got an extra switch in the form of an energy. Or we could look at, and I mean, we probably should have mentioned this one earlier in the video, to be honest, counter energy. Counter energy is two of any type of energy, just so long as you're behind on prizes and it's attached to a non-EX, non-GX Pokemon. That's pretty gosh darn good. And then we've got memory energy. Memory energy lets you use attacks of your pre-evolutions while also being one colorless energy. And we end up in a situation here where our options are multiple. Between things like rainbow energy, unit energy, counter energy, we can basically power up whatever Pokemon we like here, while also having all of these extra tricks that we would get from something like warp energy and memory energy. And it really is the adaptability of this that makes me more excited for this than I was for either of the Magnezones, because you get the feeling with this that there are going to be decks that can take advantage of this. You can play a whole bunch of different types of Pokemon, and because you've got so many special energy cards that can pay whatever cost you need, you can actually mix typings like really never before. And you don't have to worry about single energy cost, because you can attach as many of these as you like. Now, the only way to really search them out is with Energy Lotto. Although, to be fair, you could always take advantage of Macargo, which searches it out. And then, once you've got Macargo kind of putting it on the top of your deck, there's nothing to stop you using something like a Pidgeotto or an Orangaroo to actually get it out here. Although, it's not the easiest thing to get rolling every turn, but it is absolutely something that you could do. Now, we do need to point out the downsides of special energy at this stage. There's a million different things like Enhanced Hammer that will discard them. You've got stuff like Zerkatry, which is immune, or can't take damage from, Pokemon with special energy attached. Although it is a basic Pokemon, so you know, Alolan Muck, 
would work quite nicely here. And then, of course, we've got the whole it can't be recovered problem. Sure, special charge, but that's only in expanded. And sure, Orangaroo, but that's your attack for the turn. And then even though you're playing all of these different special energy, you're limited to four of each of them in your deck, which can be a slight issue. But make no mistake about it. Yeah, there's downsides to special energy. But the fact that you can now attach as many of them during your turn as you like, and they're so much more adaptable than basic energy, and that this can be used with anything really does make me excited for this. Yeah, it's a stage two, but come on, this could really work. And if absolutely nothing else, a 101 line of this is going to make Gardevoir stupid good. Now, there is an attack here, but honestly, I, I can't get too excited about the attack because I've used up all my excitement on the ability. The attack does 120 for free colorless energy and confuses itself. It's fine. It's not particularly exciting. It's not particularly great. It is fine. It'll work sometime. It'll help you out a little bit. 120 is not really enough. There's too many things around like Boswell which can take a hit from it. And the fact that you've got to confuse yourself while doing it is a bit of a pain. Yeah, you can use triple acceleration energy here, which is nice. But that is basically a... a, a about it it's not amazing but it doesn't need to be the ability here alone is it's got to break decks wide open and i'm a little bit nervous right because magnus was never that good but then again blastoise was that good i am sure this is a five wassy card i know that it's an evolved pokemon a stage two no less and I know that you can only play four of each special energy and there's plenty of ways people can hate on special energy at the moment. And I don't really care. I look at a card like this and all I can think of is a million different ways that Pokemon can take advantage of this and using four or five different types of Pokemon in one deck because of all the special energy we can use to pay multiple attack costs. I adore this, although I do love me some Porygon, so maybe I'm a little biased, but I don't care. It's amazing. But I would very much like to know your opinion on it, ladies and gentlemen. So please give me that opinion in the comment section. Go nuts, but please do remember the rule, would you? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays for some more wassy action but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio